Okay, I'm standing in this field of perennial wheat here, and as you can see, it looks a little bit different than annual wheat. And what makes it different is that it grows every year from the same crown, from the same root system, without having to plow the ground and replant it. And in that way, it helps minimize soil erosion and maximize the use of nutrients in the soil. The benefits of perennial wheat for feeding a growing world include they have a higher nutritional value, so they're higher in a lot of micronutrients, especially zinc and iron. So you need less to fulfill your daily requirements. Also, they require much fewer inputs in general. They require less plowing, less seeding. And so there's less fossil fuels used. And in, in that case, it works really well with a lot of marginal farmers around the world, farmers who don't have access to big, large-scale equipment as well. It also works very well on steep hillsides because it can minimize erosion. It also has a root system that is capable of extracting nutrients from the soil to a greater extent, we believe, than this annual wheat. We work with farmers quite a bit, and they're the ones who are asking for this perennial wheat because they spend a lot of time in their tractors, and they barely make it each year, if they even do make it each year. And so they're looking for a more stable yield, something they can rely on year after year and something that will allow them to retain their soil as well without letting it get blown away every time the wind blows or it rains really hard. This paper coming out in Science is essentially saying that we need to step up our research in perennial wheat if we would like it to succeed. Well, I believe within 20 years we can get a perennial wheat variety, perhaps even sooner than that, if we start to invest more research dollars into perennial wheat.